everything's going a little slow this morning good morning hope you guys are doing well this morning pray that you've had a great christmas and you know that your mind and heart is just really set for 2019 you know i really feel there are going to be some major and significant things transpiring in 2019 for those of you who are in position and um I want to talk about one thing on today that's going to help you, you know, be in position for a really exceptional 2019. Carrie, I believe your name's not showing up, but your picture, yes, I remembered um, your picture this morning. So how are you, darling? Hope you are doing well. I am sharing this out um, really quick to a couple other platforms. Hope you guys are doing great today how are you carrie Let's see if i can get this on for one more i am on periscope ram and facebook as usual um get ready for us to rock and roll so one step that will make a big difference in your business for 2019 one step that'll make a big difference in your business for 2000 and 19 and this is so much more clear i think it's it has to be the device because i switched um positions i'm doing really great darling doing really really great let me see if i go live on instagram so i was actually having a conversation with a friend of mine on the other day and we were talking about um receiving information so first of all let me share a quote with you guys that i love and um a lot of the salon owners and hairstylists that i work with are really really exceptional they're they're leaders you know in their space and so not only are they leading their families and their own lives but many of them have staff or many of them teach or train in some other aspect um, of building their brand. And so I was talking to them about how we learn and process information as um, humans. And, and one of the reasons why I feel people may experience seasons of feeling you know, stuck in their life and their business, especially in the information age that we're in now, meaning there's like tons of information everywhere you know, Google is there. We're Googling all day. Hey, Angela, how are you, dear? There are Facebook Live trainings. There are Instagram trainings, Periscope trainings. There are trainings everywhere. So we're not in a lack of information uh, in the, the age and stage that we're in at all. There's no lack of, of resources. But there is also a large number of individuals who are still stuck even with all of the information. And so today I wanted to talk about the, the distinction, right? The thing that's gonna make a huge difference for you as you push forward for your goals and your dreams for your business and your life for 2019. It's gonna make a big difference, guys. I remember um, a couple conversations that, that I had. One in particular, I was sharing with a girlfriend that Years ago, early in my career, there were a lot of times where I was experienced different, experiencing different measures of success, right? Different measures of success. However, I couldn't really predict it. Like, I couldn't say, you know, I'm going to hit these numbers or, you know, this is my specific income goal and I feel really comfortable about, hey, auntie, you know, hitting those goals because a lot of the things that were occurring for me by way of success were coincidental. Y'all don't hear me, right? A lot of them were coincidental. They were based on gifts that I had that I was using, but there was, those gifts had not been cultivated, meaning I didn't even understand the fullness of my gifts. Um, some things were just happening organically. How many of you have ever had um, different things occur in your life, in your business. But when you look back on it, you really hadn't sat down and thought again. 
it just happened for you. It just happened to happen for you. And if you've ever had, put me in the comments if that's ever happened for you in your business. When you look back, you're like, well, I had, a, you know, a lot of great things happen, but uh, some of it wasn't even because I strategically sat down and planned for it to happen that way. It kind of just happened. Well, that's what was really transpiring for me. And I did not take full advantage of a lot of opportunities because I didn't really understand. They were just my gifts operating, but those gifts had not been cultivated. Those gifts had not been cultivated. Not only had those gifts not been cultivated, I was doing a lot of surface stuff. Surface stuff, meaning um, I would implement some things, but I didn't have full understanding of what it was that I was doing or full understanding to the point where I could see even larger realms of possibility from those things that I was doing. Let me give you guys uh, an example. For instance, you host a class or something in your, no, I'll use this one here and then I'll go back. So I did a class um, years ago, Salon Owners Seminar. Um, it is on YouTube. I held it in my salon. At the time, I didn't even have a YouTube account, okay? So my videographer ended up posting it on YouTube, and I, I didn't know that that's what was going to go on. And within 30 minutes, almost 300 people had viewed the video. So he, you know, um, connects with me, and he's like, okay, you need to answer these people. They're responding. They're commenting. You know, they're enjoying the video. Go and comment. So I went to go comment and couldn't because I didn't have a YouTube channel. So I had no idea, you know, that I needed to have a YouTube channel in order to comment. And so I formed a YouTube channel. The video now has about 36,000 views on it. And I'm, I'm still getting clients from that one, vi that one video, you know, all the time. However, at the time, because I didn't understand the... I, I didn't understand it all. I didn't understand how powerful um, videography was or um, that form of marketing would be. I did not take full advantage of it. Do you guys get what I'm saying? So it wasn't until many years later that I began understanding um, the power of, of video marketing and you know how it is almost like an automatic client attraction system for your business where that brings you customers all the time now had I understood it to that realm what I did a video seven eight years ago my biz my now business which I'm really really grateful for where my business is but it would be so much further if I had more understanding about what it was that I was doing if do, do you guys follow me on this? So what I'm sharing with you is that a lot of times we're doing things in our business. Maybe we saw someone else do it or we heard someone else say we should do it and we go and try it out, but we don't have full understanding of it. And Instagram is kind of dark on you guys' side. If you want to switch over to Periscope or um, Facebook, Facebook is uh, facebook.com slash build with Tanya. You can catch me over there live as well. But so often, guys, we do things for our life and our business without full understanding. And so I wanted to talk about the difference in um, gathering information and training. Gathering information and training. So a friend and I were talking the other day and the conversation of um, training actually came up. And it reminded me of a quote that I want to share with you guys. And I, I use it a lot when I'm coaching um, for my coaching clients so that they understand um, that there are different levels of receiving and giving information. So Benjamin Franklin had a quote that I like, and it says, tell me and I forget. Tell me and I forget. Teach me and I remember. Teach me and I remember. Involve me and I learn involve me and I learn. And while I was on the phone with, with my friend and I, we were talking about children and parenting and church, right? So all kind of um, combined together in, in that conversation. And I was saying, one of the things I realized from like back in the day, um, as far as church is concerned, is we did a lot of preaching at the children in the church. Don't do this or you're going to hell. Um, 
you know, God don't like this or, you know, just a lot of preaching at them. This is the same to me as just getting random information from here or there. That's that's what that equates to, to me. So you're hearing it. And then, you know, people have the impression because they told you that you understand it, that you understand the importance of following, you know, those particular laws. And most oftentimes, guys, even in my own experience with church, um, when I was um, younger, Morrison, first day on Periscope, welcome. Uh, when I was younger, there wasn't a lot of teaching involved. There wasn't a lot of training or um, there wasn't a lot of um, push to even be trained on whatever it was that we were learning in um, Sunday school or the scripture. So we would just learn the scripture, but not necessarily what it meant or not necessarily know what it looked like to actually apply it to our life. And so I was sharing with my girlfriend that one of the things, my heart's desire is not to just talk at my daughter, right? But to keep my life and my business in a position where I have time to actually teach her. So one of the things that we're doing now is we're reading this book called Family Time with God. And it's like a devotional where, um, and we pick the time that we look at it every single every single day, or we study from it every single day. And it'll have um, a Bible verse for us to learn for the week and uh, some action steps for us to take or things where we're actually breaking the scripture now. And then it asks questions, right? It asks questions. And this is one of the things that you don't get when you are just randomly finding information. You're not always right. Ask the questions that are actually going to provoke you and make a huge difference in your life or your business. So the one thing that's going to make a big difference in your business in 2019 is training, is training. Even when you think about the scripture, train up a child in the way that they should go. Most of us talk to the children. We just tell them what the scripture is or tell them what the thing is in the expectation that they're going to get it fully. But the Bible says to train up a child. And so what's probably missing from your business, I know it's missing from a lot of businesses because a lot of business owners, salon owners, um, uh, salon professionals are doing the external things. They're just doing, and they don't necessarily realize that it's not always out of um, just trying to skip, skip steps or be lazy. They're just unaware that there are different levels to it. And so one of the things that I'm huge on is training. Not just telling my clients this is this or this is that, but my clients who take more intense classes um, or courses, or even my masterminds with me, they experience me on a different level of training. But my goal is to train in, in any aspect, even when I'm on, whenever I can. You guys get that? So let's talk about what learning and training is and kind of what the difference is. So learning is like absorbing information. So maybe you will, you know, listen to this broadcast, you'll learn, you'll, you'll absorb the information. But I, but if I involve you and I give you action steps and I give you things to implement, we are now in the process or in some of the steps that actually um, entail training, which is what is missing from a lot of people. Even those that go and take classes and courses and they get education, maybe they do a lot, a lot of look and learn classes but no training, right? Maybe they hear a broadcast on what to do in their business, but they really haven't been trained. Um, man, I'm going to tell you what lack of training does in our, in our business and in our life. It, it causes us to repeat steps that aren't really working over and over and over again. So we lose money in that time frame because we're spending years kind of like spinning our wheel, wheels like we, we we might be getting by we might be paying the bills but we know that there is more we know that the way that we're operating is not at the highest version of ourselves or the highest version of our, of our business is not producing you know real income we look at our numbers a lot of that comes from not really understanding what it is that we're implementing in our business. We're just kind of like doing this routine, maybe something we heard or we heard an idea, but training is different, guys. Training is different. So training is where you are developing new skills and understanding through implementing the process. So one of the things I, uh, my mastermind members, 
this was when we first started. In two days of our training, 75% of my mastermind members had created an ebook, right? So not only did I teach them how to write the ebook, but I put them in a position to actually implement the process. They're learning through that process, they're being trained, right? And that's a lot of the difference that's occurring, especially from the business standpoint in the salon industry and in most businesses, because you know we're not really getting the fullness of the fruit that we could get in our business because we really haven't been trained. We're kind of just doing things um, that we heard. We haven't been mentored through the process. We haven't been coached. We don't have anybody who you know really has gotten results, who has the experience to actually put us in a position right to learn the new skills and implement the process to the point where we're actually understanding the why behind it okay so this is why i should um create videos for my business not because you just heard it but because you've now implemented it <clears throat> and you actually see the results of it right and so whenever you are setting out your goals and things for the new year it makes sense to add certain things because you already you've been trained on it you understand right what the implementation and the results of that particular thing are is as long as <clears throat> we don't fully understand we'll never really do it to the full right it's only when we've been you know properly trained on different concepts and things in our business that we actually ever really do it and so i wanted to share with you guys this year when you are you know, really setting your goals out for the new year. It's not as much about getting 50 different things done in your life and your business as it is getting a few impactful things done that are going to make a huge difference in your business. And your level of training and your level of expertise as, as hairstylists, it's not just your level of expertise and skill set in doing hair, but in running your business. Guys, in running your business, right? Because the skill set, many of you have the skill set. Many of you have the, the skill set to do hair. But what's probably missing is the skill set to actually run the business. What does it take to, to actually do that? And so one of the things that has been, you know, producing great results for my clients have been my business alignment sessions. So what those sessions include, it's a 60 to 75 minute face-to-face -face virtual call with me where we assess where you are in your business and then we find the gaps that are in your business and then we develop some strategies. Um, my business assessment will increase for the investment cost will increase for 2019. So I thought today would be a great day to give you guys an opportunity to really assess where you are in your business. Where is it that you need training? I realized when I was planning out my 2019, there were different areas I already knew I wanted to grow in and I wanted to be trained on. And so when those opportunities became available to me, it was immediate. There was no confusion. I knew that I needed the training in different areas. And sometimes we're setting goals to start and create new things, but not necessarily to be trained on the things that are actually going to get us to the next level. So I invite you um, to take advantage of the opportunity to have the business alignment assessment with me. It will be powerful. Um, you won't have to go into 2019 random. Um, right now, that uh, business assessment is only 350 It will increase at midnight. It'll go up to $500 at midnight. That's going to be um, my starting cost for that business assessment in 2019. But you can secure your spot um, today. Even if you're not sure what day you want to actually have it done, you can go ahead and make the investment so that um, you can take advantage of it before the price increase. I have a few testimonials on the page for the link that I'm gonna send you of people who've gotten the assessment and it's just shifted their entire business. So you not only get the one hour session with me, but you get a set of questions prior to our time together that will help me to support you at the highest level that I possibly could. And you get a video recording of our call together and then bullet points of what we actually discussed and you can refer back to it. And one of the biggest things that you get from that business assessment 
the call is um, a focus for the new year. So I actually work with you in creating three focus goals for the year so that you're not random in 2019, so that you're not all over the place. And what those focus goals are going to do is going to also help dictate what type of classes, courses, or training do I need in order to get these main things that are going to be my main profit producing things that are really going to shift my business to, to new levels in 2019, what do they look like? For those of you, um, you know it's it's for you. It's um, it's 3.50 uh, today for that assessment, and at midnight it will increase. It gives you um, 60 to 75 minutes with me. Um, take a look at your business and just see, okay, these are the gaps. If we fill these gaps in, things are going to really flow a lot more flu fluidly in my business. Renewfullcircle.com slash clarity. I'm going to put that in the comments um, over here on Facebook. I don't think I can do it anywhere else. Are there any questions? How are you guys doing? How's your planning coming along uh, for your business? 2019. I, I know you guys are not waiting until 2019 um, gets here to actually plan it. Fullcircle.com slash clarity and give you an opportunity to have a business alignment um, assessment to help you get aligned with whatever it is you're, you're saying that you desire, right? And actually see it manifest. We're going to talk about strategies, you know, what it looks like, some things that, you know, are maybe missing in your business that will close in those gaps and really give you um, the return that you're looking for, for the energy, the resources, and the money that you spend in 2019. So guys, the one step that will make a big difference in your business for 2019 is when you move from the level of just learning things to actually being trained on things. From learning things to actually being trained. And I read you guys a quote. Benjamin Franklin says, tell me, and I forget. That's like just listening to me now, right? Teach me, and I remember. Um, this can be also a form of teaching as well involve me and I listen. And this is when you're in a space where you're being asked the right questions, when you are being assigned the right things to do that are actually going to increase your level of understanding and the results that you're having, you know, with your business growth. So I invite you guys to take advantage of that before midnight tonight. It's renewfullcircle.com slash clarity, renewfullcircle.com slash clarity. If you know I need a focus point. I don't want to go into 2019 random. Um, be sure to go ahead and take advantage of that. Um, you'll make your investment. You'll get questions emailed to you after your investment. And then we'll set up some time on the calendar for us to, to talk, to look, look at your business, like for real, and figure out where are these gaps. If I close these gaps and I focus on these three major things, um, how can I really get to the goals and things that I desire for 2019? But one, guys, is to move from a space of just hearing information, um, definitely just copying information, because it's like you're always waiting on whoever it is that you're copying from in order to grow your business. It's like your business never gets to really evolve and be who you are. It's actually like you're always behind. You're always behind. And so understand that inspiration and copying are the two totally different things, right? Because you never get a chance to really evolve and grow as a brand if you're only doing what you're seeing other thing, other people do. There's a space uniquely designed for you. Let's get some clarity on what that is and what it's actually going to take for you to move forward in your business for 2019. But I, one, I'd love for you guys to take a, a to be definite, right? To be intentional about not just learning and hearing information, but being trained. It's going to make a significant difference in your results, in your level of expertise, and what you're doing in your business, um, and then the value that your customers are receiving. So you guys know that people pay for value. Remember that people pay for value. Have an amazing rest of the day. I'll be back on on Wednesday tomorrow. If you um, access my social media pages. You'll see where I share some things that God kind of directed me um, or I feel led 
um, to focus on for the new year. It's not like I'm putting the word out, like this is the new year for everybody who's a kingdom entrepreneur. But I go to God um, at the end of each year, just asking for like a centralized focus that I usually end up with a phrase or a word or something that I can align my business and my life with. And I've been kind of sharing that for the last few years. I didn't always share, you know, what it was with others, but I've been sharing that for the last few years and I'm going to share it on tomorrow. And for many of you, it will probably register heavily um, with you as well. So I'll be sharing that on tomorrow, but I won't be doing it live. And then I'll be back on, on Wednesday and, and I'll actually do a live and kind of talk about what that means and what that looks like. You know what I'm going to share God's word for me and my business and my family um, for 2019. Have an amazing day. Peace.